Just in the last 90 minutes, Texas Department of Public Safety officials identified the pilot who was killed in the crash at LZ McDonald as LZ McDonald from Arizona. Officials tell us he was just days away from celebrating his 88th birthday. Investigators spent all day sifting through debris trying to find out how that plane crash in Plano happened last night. Officials will be reviewing videos like this one. The dash cam video shows the plane taking a sharp dive and then a few seconds later smoke was seen rising from that area. Here's a closer look at where this happened. That plane came down near Park and Midway right outside the Mama's Daughter's Diner there in Plano, less than half a mile from the Air Park Dallas Airport. Let's get out to Janelle Fort this afternoon, who's live in Plano with the latest on this. Janelle, you spoke with the staff at the diner. What did you learn from them? This was right outside their doors. Yeah, just feet away. They tell me that the Wednesday before Thanksgiving is one of their busiest days of the year. But instead of serving customers today, they're instead dealing with the aftermath of this crash. Again, that plane came crashing down just feet away from the restaurant. They have just cleared out the plane and its debris um, over the past couple of hours here. But security cameras from security footage from the restaurant shows the moment that that plane came crashing down. You see a flash of light and then a big burst in flames inside. Customers scramble as they're asked to evacuate. Again, the pilot who's been ID'd as Elsie McDonald was just days away from his 88th birthday. The cause of this crash is still under investigation, but in control tower audio, you hear McDonald ask air traffic controllers um, to land at a different airport. He tells them it might be too dark for him to land at Air Park, which is just around the corner from here. He asked to reroute five miles south to Addison Airport, but didn't make it there. He crashed into the parking lot here just before six yesterday, missing the building, but engulfing a car parked out front that belonged to the restaurant's manager, Laura Bowers. Everybody was worried about my car. I wasn't worried about that car. And uh, it made me sad to think that a man had to die on Thanksgiving week because his family will never be the same. But mama's family will keep on going because Mama is mama, and uh, we hope to be open on Saturday morning with a big crowd. Now, this Thanksgiving, the restaurant staff say they are definitely counting their blessings. The NTSB is investigating. They say they should have a preliminary report in 15 days. Reporting here in Plano, I'm Janelle Fort.